These are brake calipers from a 1978 Suzuki. They're pushing 45 years old by now and you're able to tell. The bike itself is starting to look pretty sharp. So we'll have to do something about these and try to do a good job of it. After removing the brake pads, we'll charge up the compressor and try to pop the pistons out. It's the trickiest part and it can be kinda dangerous too. The front calipers are single piston, so they're fairly easy. I'm pressurizing them via the banjo bolt connection and I'm using a piece of wood to stop the piston from going ballistic unexpectedly. When they're ready to go, a rag is employed to catch the piston. It's important not to let them shoot out freely. Ask me how I know. Call me Snake. The rear calipers are double piston, so I'm shaking and manipulating the wood to make sure that both of the pistons are loose before throwing a rag over and popping one out. Otherwise you might find yourself with a stuck piston and no easy way of getting it out. Now we can remove the seals and finish off the rest of the disassembly. It's pretty straightforward. If it's removable, remove it. And if it isn't removable, and it should be, be more convincing. I'm fairly sure that this magic dust isn't supposed to be in here, but yeah, what do I know? And here are all the individual parts, looking all disgusting. Let's find out what we're working with. All the metal hardware gets the wire wheel treatment, and it's fairly obvious that we have to replace a couple of parts. I'll replace these pins, pistons, the rubber components and the miscellaneous hardware like banyo bolts and bleed nipples. The castings get a good scrub to remove most of the dirt. Then a bath in the audio jacuzzi. An ultrasonic cleaner is absolutely not necessary to clean something, but it is very convenient. It's one of those tools that at least halfway does what it promises. I like it, it saves a lot of time. The caliper housings are getting painted, so I want to remove all of the old paint since it is peeling. I'm using a steel wire wheel. It might not be the best idea because steel is harder than aluminum and can therefore scratch it. I'm okay with that, but you might not be. It took several rounds of wheeling, ultrasonic cleaning and dremeling to get down to bare metal. Before paint I'd like to fill some of these imperfections. I'm not going for a completely flawless finish here, I just want to fill the obvious scratches and gouges. Then we'll somewhat level it out with sandpaper. Next we'll check over the functional surfaces. The bore in the caliper holder gets a quick run over by a homemade Dremel tool out of Scotch-Brite. And those cleaned up very well. The piston bores gets a round of wire wheeling. Brass this time to make sure that we do not damage anything. And then the lightest of touch with a very fine wet and dry paper. One last dip in the ultrasonic cleaner before we get to masking. Those of you that has followed along with the build might know that masking isn't one of my favorite activities. But it is something that if done well really improves the quality of the end result. So it pays to get it right. I'm using regular masking tape and about a year's worth of earplugs. One final wipe off and we're off with the priming. I'm using a 1K epoxy primer. It was recommended to me by the vendor. Primer is pretty awesome. It has the power to reveal that what you thought was a pretty good job was actually total garbage. I had to refill and reprime the caliper carriers. Then I could mix up some black paint and give them a few coats. The front brake pads have to be able to slide within these carriers. Afterwards I had to send away some of the paint from the inside to make sure that they will operate smoothly. For the calipers themselves, I started out with a silver metallic from a regular can. Then I mixed up a little bit of 2K clear coat and added a splash of orange candy and started spraying, but here I got into some trouble. The problem is that there are a lot of nooks and crannies on brake calipers. It's far from a flat surface. And with candy, if you can't get it even, different areas will get different shades, 
since the paint is translucent. So I had to turn the camera off here and concentrate. I mean, it turned out alright, but far from perfect. Removing the masking is very satisfying. The earplugs worked out great actually. Now, here are all the parts ready for assembly. Plastic parts, scotch brighted and painted. Painted castings. Pistons, new for the rear caliper. One used for the front, because they were discontinued. The other one along with these two slide pins, I had to make myself on my mini lathe. There's a video link in the description if you're interested. Two used pins. Seals. Brake pads. O-rings. Other miscellaneous hardware. Now I'll shut up for a while and let's get into an assembly montage. And there we go, they're finished. I'm quite happy despite the challenges with the candy paint. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out this one. Thank you 